Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you a deck that I chose to work with this upcoming autumn season. I'm looking very forward to autumn and I'm going to be picking out a few decks to use. I went to my, it's a shelf, it's a big bookshelf, to find something I haven't used in a very long time and this one stood out. This is Enchanted Oracle with artwork by Jessica Galbraith and text by Barbara Moore. I bought this deck in October of 2015. And how do I know that? Well, I go to Amazon to check the publication date of these decks so I can tell y'all. This one was published in September of 2008 and it showed me at the top when I bought my particular deck. So this deck has been around for a while but it's still absolutely beautiful. I was very pleased to see that I still had all the pieces that went with. Let's take a look. Now this is a Llewellyn box, but it's it's an old one. So, you know, there's a lot of wear and tear on it. And I hear everything sliding around in there, so let's look. So inside you have the cards. There's the backing. You have the book. It's a fabulous book. And there's also a little secret pocket back there. You see that white box? It comes with an adorable fairy pendulum. I don't know if the decks still come with this cute little fairy pendulum on a black ribbon, but mine did. I was very happy, and I think it's great. And I've, I had totally forgotten she was in there. What a great find. This is the fabulous book that comes with the deck. It's called Destiny's Portal. Inside we see a picture of Barbara Moore and a little about her. We also see Jessica Galbraith and a little about her. The copyright is 2008. This is a first edition third printing from 2012, but I bought it in 2015. Then we move on to the contents. How to use the Enchanted Oracle. There's a section on using a pendulum. Divination with the cards. Steps for performing a divination. Then we have spreads. One card spreads. Three and four card spread. List of spells, enchantments, visualizations, pendulum use, and journaling exercises. I mean, this book has really got a lot of useful information. But do we expect anything less from Barbara Moore? No, we don't. She is wonderful. And now we move into the cards. You have a full page grayscale depiction of the card. The name of the card, some information about the card. Oh, I like this, it kind of sets a scene. Oracle message, and then it says thank you notes. For the next card, Bewitching, it's Call the Raven at the end. So I believe at the end, every card has a different little exercise, which is awesome. And it does. At the end of each card, there's a little activity, a charm, a spell. It's amazing, this book. I'm glad I looked at it again. It's been years. And I'm going to enjoy this. This is the back of the book. Now, that price is incorrect because when I looked at Amazon, it was like $25 now. So I love what the back of the book says. Now, let's look at the cards, the back of the cards. In case you were wondering, this red bag holds my Rider White Tarot that I use for size comparison. It was also my very first tarot deck gifted to me by my mentor. I think I've mentioned this in a video way down in the playlist, if you're watching the playlist. 
And here we go for size comparison. Had to change the lighting a bit so you could see there's not that much difference. The cardstock isn't really too thick, not too thin, but it's nothing a little gentle shuffling can't handle. I really like it. I love the backing, it's gorgeous. Now, let's look at the cards themselves. Thank y'all so much for joining me as we looked at Enchanted Oracle, artwork by Jessica Galbraith, and text by Barbara Moore. I hope this video found you all very happy and healthy. I have a few more decks I think I'm going to be using this upcoming season, and I might upload them. What decks are y'all going to be using? I'd love to know. Speak with you again soon. Bye for now, guys.